All right, this is a practice session to figure out how to record. Uh, how, how we're, we're figuring out how to demo um, connecting demons. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is endo store the text of my IP address and 8920. 8920 being an arbitrary port number that has a, a mnemonic to endo. That's eight as in E, nine as in N as in N, two as in duo, which is D, and zero, which looks like an O, endo. Oh. No? All right. All right. So I've got that captured in my content address store. Uh, I'm going to endo make unconfined source networks TCP. Uh, and I'm going to convey the powers of my user agent in its entirety. I'm going to Uh, and then name that TCP. That I believe is all of the steps, and then I'm going to background that. Um, I got a not found not found there. What branch should I be on? Should work on master. Okay. Under daemon, source networks. TCP net string. Yeah. And then I'm going to resolve question zero with my host port. And that allows my endo maker to work and a list. And I have TCP. I will note that the move command doesn't exist yet. Eric. <laughs> uh, well that's fine um, uh, agent identify TCP give it the agent and then name that the TCP ID and do eval e Nets write TCP TCP ID and endow that with my nets directory and the TCP ID. Oh, now I remember. I know, pet name T because write does not yet support both pet name and pet name path, it only supports pet name path. And a list nets should now reflect that there is a TCP device in my networks, which means that I can do an endo invite. Uh, Eric rec marks. I'm going to call him Eric because it's a pet name and I do not need to respect your handle. Um, Capture that in the clipboard. So that's the invitation. And you'll note that among the details in the invitation, it includes an at TCP netstring JSON cap TP's version zero with my host port so that they can connect back. It includes a from, which is the identifier on my node for my mailbox handle to which messages can be sent. And it includes uh, the identifier for this invitation. And it includes the identifier for the sending node. This will eventually be the public key so that, and this connection over TCP will be 
cryptographically verified so that I know I'm talking to the node who holds that public ID. All right. And with that, I'm past step one. Uh, I'm going to now install um, demo CLI demo hat.js uh, on port 8921. Press, uh, listen on port 8921. I'm going to name that cat and I'm going to give it the powers of my whole agent. And I will open that application in my nearest web browser. Et voila. All right. And as you can see, I had a request for my host port, which I fulfilled. Dismiss that message. Uh, and as soon as I have a handle, I will chat with someone. Can you show me the net.write step again? Yeah. Yeah, that was up here. Oh, TCP ID. Uh, yeah, I, I, I named that to TCP ID. You can just put this string in there if you want. Unknown pet name T. Oh, you need to put uh, oh, TCP in square brackets. Brackets, yeah. Until one of the many rough edges that we need to buzz off. Okay. Do you want to endo invite me? Uh, yeah. I'm going to send you that invitation oh, out of band over Slack Oop. after I stop my screen share. Okay, I got it. I don't remember what to do with it because last time I was always inviting you. <laughs> All right. Um, Okay, uh, the trick is to do an endo accept with whatever pet name you assign to me, which some viable options include Calbert <laughs> or I believe KK was your preferred pet name for Chris. For those just those tuning in, acceptable pet names include Doofus. I will never know because it's a <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so endo accept, and then I choose a name, and then the great big long string? And then you pipe that into standard in. Um, I, uh, oh, okay. I dabbled with passing it as an, uh, as an argument and then remembered that URLs often include the ampersand, which means that you have to be very careful to quote it. Right. Whereas over standard in, it's not quite so bad. Um, and it's symmetric. And go into like non trivial time. Oh, did we break TCP again? Oh, did we uh, turn on our tail scale network? Yeah. Did I? Say, can I ping your address? 
Let me go see if my demon is hosed again. And okay. oh, ping. Yeah, my demon's okay. I, I can endo ping. So if I do echo that great big string pipe, endo accept Chris, that should work? Yeah, it should. I'm prepared to believe you if it doesn't. We only got it to work once before. I invited you several times. Endo accept. It doesn't want to do anything. Is it just hanging? Yeah. And endo ping says okay in a timely fashion. Yeah. Or is it endo has endo stopped for you? Well, endo ping says okay. And uh, and your network list includes TCP. Endo list nets. Yeah. Can you send me an invitation and see if I can get back to you? Uh, and uh, right. All right. I see that Eric has achieved an endureness. Um, let me get you started uh, after I accept this invitation. I'll I'll reveal my log to the screen again. Well, have I got something else listening on 8920? I don't think so. You may have in the pet. No. Hmm. PV paste, endo, accept, ECKC. I am also exper experiencing an internal hang. Ping. I wonder if these addresses are symmetric. They should be. Cannot resolve. Uh, that was the wrong number. No? Yeah, I can't resolve. I cannot ping you. Oh, no, it's because I'm using ping wrong. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm getting ICMP in. Yeah, and my, my command is hanging as well. My endo accept is, is hung. Very surprising. It worked last time. Yeah, Tailscale believes that your IP address matches the invitation. Okay, I'm going to cancel this and let's see if let's see if we get more luck with Eric. Mm -hmm. I'm sharing my screen again so that my log becomes visible. All right. So the trick is are you following along, Eric? Uh, yeah. Are you guys hearing me? Because you are audible now. 
you know, that when you start the app, the internet connection is unstable. Hmm. That's funny because you look like you're muted, but I can hear you anyway. Uh. Okay. Invite external user. Uh, what's your... Uh, I'm just going to copy the invitation link. That works. I'm creating... I'm sending... I'm sending Eric an invitation out of band to join our tail scale net. He received it in Slack. We'll see. Uh, okay, <laughs> so uh, at, uh, I am I am not at my regular workstation, and my uh, Wi-Fi is. Um, I don't know if it's going to be able to handle it, but I will try to keep my camera off uh, and see if uh, I can handle you sharing your screen once more. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, politely disabling video to reduce the amount of bandwidth that we impose upon you. Uh, and I have sent you out of band uh, in Slack. You have a tail scale invitation? Uh, yep. And with that, you should be able to join, you should be able to reveal yourself to my subnet. And the neat thing about TailScale is that each of us has our own subnet, but the IP addresses are all the same um, across all TailScale subnets that have overlapping membership. Um. The Calbert von Moo at gmail.com tailnet has reached the maximum number of users. Uh, you cannot join uh, this tailnet until an admin updates the billing information. Okay. <laughs> you could kick off Moo phone or maybe nameless Dan. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do. I have a tail scale status command that reveals that they're such parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I am going to kick Mr. Finley. Let's see. Apparently. Apparently tail scale has a service that is worth paying for. Drat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have I've kicked um I've kicked Mr. Finley and you should be able to connect now. Okay. I I I see you on my user list now. Cool. Let's see.
Scale Scale wants me to. Let's see. I'm having some strange. Select the network to continue. No, okay. I think this is going to work. Network I see devices. that we're connected. Yep. I, I think see, I see both of you. I see your machine host name. All right. And that means cool. that I, yeah, all right. You've got an IP address that I can reach. All right. So now begins the process to set up. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right, all right. So bringing up my terminal window, bringing up Zoom, sharing my screen. And you will now see that you need to do the analogous command for endo store as text, your tails mm -hmm. IP and your choice of port. And if you, if you name that TCP netstring JSON captp, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, then you can skip a step, but it's probably not worth the bother. Yeah, let's see. All right, popcorn and refreshments check. Chip, are you entertained? <laughs> are we not entertained? <laughs> are you not? <laughs> I'm in, I'm in uh, soak up random knowledge about random things mode these days. So, <laughs> well, yes, of course. Uh, Jazz, you don't even know what we're doing. Do we still have a Jazz on the call? I have no idea what you're doing, <laughs> okay. but I am, I am entertained. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, so for those just tuning in, what we are attempting to do is uh, get our, uh, the, Dan, myself, and Eric, oh, let's just step back a bit. On Friday, Dan and I successfully played rock, paper, scissors with each other using confined endo apps over uh, VPN. Uh, what? Why was the VPN necessary? It's not necessary. Uh, this was a thing. Well, we happen to be on our own private computers and we don't have public IP addresses. So the role of the VPN in this case is to give us subnet addresses that we can reach each other on. I have never thought to use a VPN that way. That's really cool. Okay, I, this this meeting was already worth dialing into just for that like one sentence. <laughs> yeah, tail scale does this, and it and it's pretty good. Uh, or at least it was the easiest option I found. Um, and tail scales VPN is kind of novel. Um, the there isn't a central hub. They attempt in to hole punch the VPN. Which is to say in the common case, um, in the common case, this our, our, our networks are connected um, peer to peer. You need some rendezvous point? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's what tail scale provides. The, their their service is the rendezvous. Yeah. yeah, the rendezvous with OAuth. And they do provide a relay in the case that you have if if you happen to be behind a couple of hard networks.
Okay, so I've gotten to so I've gotten to endo resolve zero host port. So I have TCP net string JSON cap TP zero yada yada etc. Oh, you're at the uh... you have gotten this far, or yeah, yeah. Uh, you've have you done the unconfined? Yes, I have done that. Okay, cool. So now if you do, uh, have you, yeah, has, have you moved TCP into your networks? Mm -hmm. So if you do an endo list nets, you, uh, I, you need to see TCP in there. Okay, yeah, I have not do that. I've yeah. not done that. All right. Well, does your working copy have a move command? <laughs> <laughs> I am not on that branch. And I okay. Well then, hesitate. then you need to do then you need to do the analog, uh, which is identify your TCP pet name to get its mm -hmm. its human unfriendly computer friendly distributed address. Got it. And then I need to do the end of UL of. I need to write that. No, not that command. Actually, you need to do this command. This is the one that succeeds. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. We can skip a step. I, I see now uh, what you mean about there perhaps being some um, uh, conveniences <laughs> left <laughs> to implement. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Nets is good. Um, all right. Yeah. TCP is in Nets. All right. So now you should be able to do an endo invite Chris. And put that in your clipboard by whatever means your host supports, albeit xclip i. If you are on Copy Linux. Copy serves me on my system. Yep. Then, I have yeah. I have the thing. And then send me an invitation. Uh, send me that out of band. Okay. I am I'm going to the out of band channel. And I am sending you. I have sent you the thing in the out of band channel. I have received the out of band information. Okay. The out of band information is now inside my clipboard. I will resume my screen. Oop. Oops. Whatever. Be sure to endo purge. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> except. Uh, uh, Eric. Um, and. Paste that in from standard in and big money. And it worked. What? Ooh. Okay. That means that if I go over here, there's Eric and I can chat with Eric and send him hi. Send. Ooh. This means that you can say endo send whatever <laughs> doofus. <laughs> <laughs> endo send Chris. Let's see. Yeah, that it's uh, the first argument is the pet name, and then I, it's just a string message. Yeah. And the string can contain can contain at pet name if you wish to transfer power to me. Well, we've only just met. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. It worked. We've already <laughs> <laughs> relations between demons have already broken down. Yeah. All right. And now, if what you do this? endo, uh, so, so try this. Do <laughs> endo. Hmm. Copy. 
agent to in little in lower all caps agent and then in lowercase all my base <laughs> and then endo send chris at all my base <laughs> don't do this i'm attacking you <laughs> i'm attacking you <laughs> if you do that i will literally be able to rmrf your disc oh oh yeah <laughs> um anyhow well it's about uh, sharing the capabilities that you trust people with right right <laughs> right exactly um okay so now i have to go over to a playground the endo playground repository make sure that i've got the latest um dc fun games is that dan is that your uh your branch yeah Uh, CD packages, fun games, and if I in here look in source, I will find Ooh. rock paper scissors, and I believe this is just a matter of endo make source rock, and it's unconfined. I mean, right? It's confinable, so we can get a bundle out of this. Name this RPS app. Well, that's a that's RPS game one or something. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Figure out what I have done wrong. Cannot find dependency demon. I need the yarn. Yarn. Yeah. I need the yarn here. Shouldn't matter. Yes, hmm. First, a non existing file package endo pack. Oh, I see. We have a link that. Oh, right. I was you, I linked to yeah. a. What did I do to patch the demon? I can't remember. Yeah. We, we, we did a. You did a um, yarn add. And then and wherever your demon is. Packages, daemon. Just delete that from the package thing we did. Yeah. Why do I have a dependency on the demon? That's weird. Uh, we had you had to get the um, the types of the endo agent. You wanted the type of the endo agent for. Oh, we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. Oh right, now I remember. Okay, yeah, that shouldn't have stopped us in our tracks, but whatever. Yeah. Um. Game one. Are you in the right directory? Okay, there you go. Oh yeah. I okay. So now, <laughs> while over here in the oven, I have RPS game one. I am going to chat to Eric. Oh, you need to attack first. Oh, I need to run the attack. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do an endo eval e game. You want to not show us, but whatever. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> Attack. You need you need to do RPS game one or game. I'm re I'm I'm aliasing it. Um, mm -hmm. Oh right, that is the thing that we can do. So when you make the thing, it's it's sort of the beginning state of the game, and then you attack, and then it moves from the, to the state where the attacker is committed, and then it, and that gives you back something that you can give to the defender. I'm naming it. Well, you don't need to know what I'm naming it. <laughs> I'm naming the attack. Okay, so now if I, I, uh, I see your hand, Dan. I don't know if the moment has passed. Uh, it's in the future, I think. Oops. 
So you, you can say your move and then yeah. Thing. So I'm going to chat to Eric. Your move at Eric turn. I think that's what I named it. We'll find out soon enough. Okay. okay. And now I stop my share. <laughs> and Eric, you may begin yours if you wish. Okay. Let's... Uh... Mm -hmm. One moment. Let me share the relevance. Okay, we're going to get some. Um, let us focus our attention on the. Okay, this should be big enough. Is my screen visible? Yeah. Yeah, I've got you. Okay. Nintendo inbox. Uh, All right. You received a your move, Eric Turn, at which point you can do endo adopt from message okay. three. Eric Turn. Mm -hmm. And you can name that whatever you wish. Uh, probably should rename it <laughs> without, the <hyphen. laughs> without the hyphen will be easier on the next step. But whatever. Yeah. My dash turn's good. Yeah. Right. You can do it then or now, whatever. Um, and then we can do endo, um, endo eval. Why did it go into his oh. list? It's Eric turn. Oh. Oh, I probably should have given it dash dash name of my turn. Oh, uh -huh. that's right. Then the and because we're using a off the shelf command line parser, it isn't smart enough to complain. Got it. Um, floppy. Okay. Um, so endo eval and e uh, Eric no her turn you can call it turn oh right yeah because I'll still use it anyway and then and then defend and then in quotes you will I mean I I okay you can do this because my play is already committed you you've already committed. Yeah. Okay, so what? You get to paper, pick rock, scissors. paper, or scissors. Yeah. I will go with then this, and then I can just put Eric turn here, and that you should can do, do it. Right turn there. colon Eric turn because there you go. The left is binding the variable in JavaScript. Eric turn is the pet name you're passing, and that should be a game. Woohoo! Ah, I'm slain. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, there we go. And nice. Next time we do this demo, we can do it entirely in the web UI. That'll that's the goal. Put even well, we can we'll still do the setup out of band, um, but or or do the setup with the CLI for the most part, but um, yeah, we can we can play. We'll be able to play on the web UI. And then I think if we get to a stretch, we'll be able to send a rock, paper, scissors user interface as a bundle okay. and install that on a port and open it up uh, in a web web. Play the game with a shared game server, but distributed UIs. Uh, that that would be the win, and uh, yeah, and I think this is a good time to to give the give Dan um, <laughs> the floor to to say about endo purge. Right. So um, this was kind of fun, and then you do these network connections, and they have these large random numbers, and if you purge, you know those are toast. You have to do all this stuff again. That's no fun. 
but it's not the end of the world. You're just playing um, rock, paper, scissors. I've got a certain amount of stuff that I do with my financial record keeping that I'm sort of increasingly interested to do it with Endo and Endo purge would be a real pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So every time anybody does Endo purge, just realize that that was a huge fail, right? The, yes. The, this stuff is supposed to be very long lived. So yes. if we have to like, you know, make sub compartments or whatever the heck it is, you know, smaller pet stores that usually don't get touched or something. Mm -hmm. Correspondingly, um, you know, you said that if you if you hit the wrong if you put the wrong thing after the at sign, you can delete all the files on his disk. That's too yeah. much of a hazard. Yes. Yeah. And that's something that we should fix in our UI. Well, that we should address. It's like on the one hand, it's it's an OCAP system and you can send any capability you wish, but there are we can put guardrails. Yeah. Um, UX things. So you I, don't want to have all of the horrendously powerful things right on the other side of the at sign. You should, right. to, you should be able you should have to put at I really meant it dot <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, it, yeah. so uh, so it, yeah it, you, you you can't prevent your users from walking into traffic but it is incumbent upon you to make it as difficult as possible okay. yeah so the the game plan for that is that we do a uh that we put endo up on blocks again and uh change some of uh, they, it, there is a step where we put the endo up on blocks for a little bit and then on the other side of that locators would be uh, locators for the, the 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 identifier of a power that goes on the wire and gets stored in a pet store would include an alleged type an, an alleged formula type specifically and the formula type uh, of agent or host or guest um host is the one that is dangerous to share without attenuation um so what we'll be able to do is see that type in the user interface and um react to it when you attempt to for example send it to a foreign handle um short of that is does it make sense to just put self under something that's not right at the top of at so pardon um agent uh, so self is safe you can you can send self to anyone um okay. that's that's your that's your handle it's agent that is dangerous and we've made it <laughs> it has the the distinction of being more all caps characters long <laughs> than any of the others um but yes we could uh we could stuff it away in a more subtle location and the more subtle the location is the harder it is to um to endow to things that actually need it as well as things that don't um but yeah that's yeah it, yeah we can we could make it harder to type for sure yeah all caps closely held <laughs> yeah Or we can rename agent to something extremely cumbersome that oh, tells right. you exactly how powerful it is. <laughs> All my power. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, actually, all my power makes a lot of sense. And keys to the kingdom. <laughs> so we're, 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 have, uh, a be careful what you wish for a robot whose job is to force you to be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah. 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 Maybe if we rub some AI on this, all of the problems will go away. <laughs> yeah, just keep telling yourself that. <laughs> right. <laughs> for the record, I do not. <laughs> as far as I, as near, near as I can tell, AI solves some problems and creates far more <laughs> that, that, that maybe the pet demon can help with, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, a story as old as computing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have now successfully played rock, paper, scissors between pet demons twice. New world record. <laughs> 
and the meeting and the meetings in overtime. So uh, I call that a big win. I'm going to stop the record. Cool. Nice.